glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Oregon's been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done in this one. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Stadium to host a Super Bowl is alive with cheering fans who are anxiously awaiting the start of this one. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He'll return it from the one. Number two, he returns the kick. Kickoff returns 26 yards. The quarterback brings his troops out out of the field for the first drive of the game. Wilkerson gains around six yards on the run. It's second and five here. Ball on the 33. They come out in a goal line set. Here's the give. He fights forward to about the 33. No gain on the play. Third down. to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. That's your goal on every possession. Force a three and out, and don't allow the offense to get into any sort of rhythm. Marshall, back to return it. Marshall fields it at the 24. He's tackled at the 31. Marshall's in a running here for a prestigious award, Herbie, but... He doesn't want to think about that right now. He's got to stay focused and keep the task at hand in front of him, and that's winning the ball game. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Makes it out to about the 40. Gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. down after a nice run up the middle. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain in a first down. He has some room. He's at the 40, and he's taken down around the 38-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the field. Let's go, D. That brings up second and one. He's at the 20. He's taken down at the 17. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. He's on the run. And he's tackled right around the four-yard line. 
That's a gain of 13 on the play. That makes it first and goal. First and goal. Ball on the four. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Touchdown, Ducks. That option was so smoothly executed. He looked totally in control on that keeper. And he converts the extra point. A nice seven-play, 69-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Oregon's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for him so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the two field. Times, two times. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. They're packed in tight on the line. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 28. Dog four. Green 58. The intended receiver on the play. That makes it 37. Check. Tight right. Tight right. Tight right. Pull it up there. Quick down. Pull it Dog four. I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. On the play. Fourth down. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The Ducks offense, I thought, answered the doubters big time with an impressive opening drive, and they got on the board first. Yeah, when you're in a hostile environment, you want to play with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder and just show people that you're not intimidated by the environment. They sure did that that first time out. Oregon is up seven. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Oregon's got a guy behind center that can really do it all, Herbie. I mean, he's a dual threat. He can hurt you with his feet and his arm. With this guy, it's PYP. Pick your poison. Brought down at the 38. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. some open field and down he goes around the 29 yard line that's good for a gain of nine yards that brings up second and one he gets out to about the 17 yard line that makes it first and ten The 10 makes it to the 5. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and goal. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. From the nine-yard line. Second down. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. And they make the stop around the six-yard line. Oregon is up a score. Throw 
throws incomplete. Number 19, the intended receiver on the play. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. The Ducks quarterback down there on the sideline, and, and Kirk, you and I talked to him earlier this week, and he is really the main cog in this offense. Doesn't look like he's that much pain right now. They need him back on the field before this one's over. And it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 20. Oregon's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Decent run here, right side. Second, and five. second down and five. Ball on the 25-yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Little handoff. He tackles him for a loss. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want none of this. Third down. Zips it to the back. Impressive game there by the do it all back. From their own 35 yard line, it's first down. He steps out at the 40. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. That makes it second and six. catch and has a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48. They come out in a goal line set. Again, he'll get the call. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That'll bring up second and 12. around the 46 yard line what impresses me so much he is the guy's the vision he read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down makes the grab and out of bounds we're at play number nine of this current drive for a nice game. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Four down, four down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Easy, easy. The halfback with a carry. And they push him out at about the 25-yard line. So another run and another first down. Now it's time for the defense to buckle down. They need to start hitting the gaps and getting into the backfield. This is the 11th play of this drive. And he's going to be sacked. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. They come up to the line here in second down and 14 after the sack. Black five, black five. Nice run up the middle. We played one. Oregon leads 10-0.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. down a huge play and now they're in a great position to score i love to see this quarterback respond when this offense really needs them to pick them up your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success here's play number 14 of this drive looks like he flinched down there on the line False start, offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches so have a down. low threshold for mistakes like that. Two-score game, and they can cut that down here if they can get this one in the end zone. Mike 35, Mike 35. They'll work the right side. Tackle right around the 12-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. That brings up second and goal. And this is the 15th play of the current drive. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. 35 to Mike. Dog four. And they'll run him again. Nice run to the outside. Wilkerson gets six yards on the play. That makes it third and goal. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Fires to the end zone, picked off. The defense here comes up with a huge interception. They've already got the lead, and it looked like this offense was trying to get back in the game, but that was a big turnover. Number eight comes in at quarterback. He fights forward to about the 23, and the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Gets to around the 42. First down. Seven yard line. From their own 47 yard line. Third down. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. The that Ducks quarterback, we saw him taken out earlier down there on the sideline after being injured. I don't think he's in that much pain right now, though, and I would bet that he'll be back in the game before the day's done. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously, but at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. It was a pretty one-sided first kill, quarter, kill, but I kill. wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Second down and 11. Ball on the 28-yard line. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Three 
Quick throw, incomplete, one on his receiver. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. That brings up fourth and 11. Marshall is the deep man awaiting the return. And down he goes at the 41. Oregon's offense really had a goal in that first quarter, but they're starting to struggle here in the second hurdle. Well, because they played so well early in this game, even though they have been struggling, they still have a pretty comfortable lead. Now let's see if they can hold on to it here as we get ready for the second half. We're about set to start things up again. He's at midfield. The tackle made at the 43-yard line. 16 yards. First down. And they hit him in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. Number eight is in at quarterback. It's second and 13. Ball on the 45-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. And he hits him hard at the 32-yard line. Number nine on the tackle at the 32-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. He fights forward to about the 30. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Complete. He's got room. Knocked out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. First down. I got one. I got one. I got one. Here we go. Here we go. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down at the 19. After a decent run up the gut. That's good for a game of five yards. Stop your body. That'll bring up 32. He's got the corner. Runs outside for a nice game. Strong play by the defense, but they'll come up just shy of the stop. Kirk will get a player down, obviously in some pain. It's the ninth play of the drive. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. He's taken down right around the eight-yard line. Call the game of two yards. That brings up second and goal. He makes it to the six-yard line. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. It's up, and he's got it. Oregon gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. 
The Ducks quarterback went down with that injury earlier. He's still in the locker room, and the word we're getting, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to play anymore today. He throws left, and it falls incomplete. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Bring him down around the 33 yard line. And out come the big hefties. He's at midfield. And he's tackled right around the 30. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and 10. picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. Well, the last time down here, they threw an interception. They'd like to erase that memory. Hands off left, and he's brought down quickly. Stanford will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. Loss of two on the play. That brings up third and 12. This is the eighth play of this drive. And they make the stop right around the 10 yard line. Fourth down. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. The Ducks had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Williamson, ready to kick. Marshall fields it at the two. Tackle at the 22. We're about set to start things up again. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. The intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Makes it out to about the 30. A gain of eight on the carry. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. We played a half. The Ducks lead 13-3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. According to the scoreboard, the first half went pretty much as scripted. We expected this team to be on top, and they are. They're up by two scores. That's not surprising. But I'm not so sure that, that there are really different feelings in the locker room right now. You might have a couple of confident teams taking a break. Yeah, you might be you might be up by a couple of scores, but you probably feel like you could add more to it. You feel like everything's gone as scripted, as planned. You feel like you're doing what you want to do. You're limiting them from doing what they want to do. At the same time, if I'm on the other side, I'm going, guys, it's not a blowout yet. You know, this is still close. If we make a few plays, get a few turnovers, next thing you know, we can look up and this game might be tied. So both sides might be happy, but this still is a game very much in striking distance, even though one side is heavily favored. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Gets out to around the 38. Call it a gain of 13 yards. First down. around the 42 yard line I don't really know what this one's for Holding let's find out offense little stumbles like these can Still kill your offensive progress so the penalty puts him back for a first and long they'll spread the field with five wide open receiver dropped Oh, was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it second two and two times. Two times. Down, two down. He's tackled at the 36. That'll give him 1,000 yards rushing this season. Anytime a back has a year like this, it sure opens some eyes. And let me tell you, he's earned every one of those yards. He throws. And it's the senior. And they finally knock him out at the 33. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Ball start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. So the penalty will make it first and 15. And they'll lose a yard there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. yard line third down halfbacks got it on the quick throw tackle to the 30 yard line that brings up fourth and seven The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he splits the uprights. Everyone 
Titans all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number two, second turn. From his own goal line, he's to the 20, heading for the corner. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 48-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Red, two, three, nine. Counter to the left. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 46-yard line. Keeper gets him two, maybe three yards. That'll make it third and nine. This is strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. Marshall is back deep to return the punt. Twenty-four-yard punt. Out of bounds at the twenty-seven-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Makes his way to about the 38. That's a gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Mike 17. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding offense. These are the calls that drive a Still coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing the game. So it's first down and an eternity. Ready! 180! 180! Three, three, out to the tailback on the screen. to the 35-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Fires it out. They'll drop him for a loss. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Nice run up the middle. Wilkerson gains about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 40. made around the 43 yard line that's good for a gain of three yards that makes it third and three
First and ten. Ball on their own 47. Second and six. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. 35 to the mic. Here we go, here we go, here we go. X, seven. Motion. He's at the 40, and he tackles him hard at the 38. First, down. First and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. They come out in a goal line set. And they got him for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 35 to the mic. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. No gain. That makes it third and 11. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Four down, four down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Green 9, green 9. Green 8. Green eight. Motion, motion. Easy, easy. defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. And somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. Trying to change the field position with his kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. So they're just about set to get the game going again. That quickly incomplete. From their own 20 yard line. Second down. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bead all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense, pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offense is working. Yeah, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove. And this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it. And the scoreboard just goes, doo -doo 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 -doo. we've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call.
The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Run left, and he's taken down in the backfield. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Keep it on the ground with a tailback. Brought down right around the 48-yard line. Space to work, and he's tackled right around the 50. A couple of yards there. It doesn't look like this defense is going to let them beat him with the deep passes. So they'll allow those short completions to the tight end. And that'll bring this third quarter to a close. Oregon's got a 13-point lead. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Red two. Green Set. nine. Go. Pass, 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 pass. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 40. There's a fumble. The defense scoops it. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. On the ground, up the middle. They go to the left for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. That brings up second and five. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line. Not a good decision there. Why'd he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. From the 37-yard line, first down. the ground with the tailback one yard loss for the halfback a loss of one yard on the play that'll bring up second and 11 and they make the stop at the 30. Makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line. No gain on the play. Fourth down. No good. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He finally goes down at the 43-yard line. First down. Ready, set, Got an opening. And he's taken down around the 31 yard line. Of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Check three, check three, check three. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Check, check. Lighting. Let go. One, let go. 
Got some open field. Quick throw. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. Now, I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Three-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. They're giving away Automatic three yards down. and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. Larry, Larry, Larry. It's first and ten. Ball on the twelve. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. About five yards on the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and six. They'll bring him down at the ten. From the 10 yard line, third down. Just throws this one away. It's up, and they tack on three points. Ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Let's see if this offense can reestablish some confidence after being stopped on downs the last time they were out on the field. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Looks to his receiver, first down. Tackle at about the 45. That's a big play right there. If they can get this ball into the end zone, you're looking at a one-possession game. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. it out to about the 36. That makes it second and two. They're packed in tight on the line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. From the 30-yard line, first down. They'll get him for a loss. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Dog four. Hey. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Loss of two on the play. That brings up third and 14. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Four down, four down. 35 to Mike. Hit. Black ball. Easy, easy. Aaron and out long. Sends it to his receiver. Touchdown.
They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. And they're looking to get two points here. Williamson gets set to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. Tackle at the 22 yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Oregon is up by eight. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Gets out to around the 45. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Defense jump, but I think a lineman moved first. Encroachment, defense. And the defense gives up some three yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. Okay, From like the that. 50. Like first down. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Brought down around the 43-yard line. Lions on the tackle at the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Set, check, 980. 98 Weasel. 98 Weasel. Quick pass. Knocked out of bounds around the 37-yard line. Low picks him up six yards with a catch. Make it second and four. Makes it to the 27. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Just over two minutes in the game. And a quick throw. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. So the defense has had enough of the no huddle as they call a timeout. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Catches it. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 14-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Nice run there. The defense burns a timeout here in an attempt to stall this no huddle attack. We've got a second and five. Nine yards to the goal line. What a play, and that is first and goal. The defense puts an end to the no huddle offense by calling timeout. Tackles him hard at the one-yard line. That brings up second and goal. Defense stacked in tight here. And they hit him in the backfield.
Touchdown, Ducks. The Ducks are so confident every time they hand this kid the football that he's going to do something special. Well, there's a reason he's the go-to man. And, and here, with everything at stake, he's able to deliver for them in a big way. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number two, number two, ten. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. So much of the passing game is about the time between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Just over a minute left. Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes around the 20-yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Where? Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. So the offense is going to go for two. play 77 yard drive and they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion you know you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success but these guys kind of be coming over the sidelines after touchdown after touchdown so, man, i didn't expect it to be this easy this is my kind of game we're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns i just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Rifles it right side. And he's leveled at the 29-yard line. Kill, kill! And for two! And he stops the clock with a spike. Second and ten. From the 29 yard line. Second down. Under a minute left in the game. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Fires it out. And he shoved out of bounds around the 12 yard line. From the 12 yard line. It's first down. Green nine, green nine. Green eight. Caught out of the open. And now the ball is loose. Scooped up by the offense. And they make the stop at the two. Stop the clock. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. He gets rid of this one. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. Touchdown, Stanford! Late in the 
fourth quarter, and the big question is, in a game this close, who's going to crack first? He splits the uprights with the extra point. Offensive flurry here in the fourth quarter, Herbie. Man, I can barely catch my breath. Neither one of these offenses can be stopped. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. Oregon holds just a two-point lead. He takes a knee. staff just dancing on the sideline their star player came through for them and they couldn't be happy well the staff has to feel good the entire team should feel good and I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on that's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA football 14 for Kirk Herbstreet this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye <laughs>